Hello everyone and welcome back to Dishonored 2. This is episode 11. Last time we entered the district leading up to the Grand Palace. The Palace District, you may say. And it was a great getting to go through that new area and just sort of learning about how we get through to the Grand Palace. And uh, I did just have to split the episodes up due to some time constraints, but now we get to enjoy the Grand Palace itself. Let's get into it. What a beautiful sight. Look at that. Gorgeous. Yes, you bet I am. Just got the answer about my transfer in line. On the bright side, the pay is better here than anywhere else, and we get to do the job how we see fit. Nobody's pestering us with forms and procedures anymore. We collect the fees we want and give out the beatings when they're needed. Such an insane amount of aim on this thing. So, if I can I domino through my spyglass? Probably not, right? Growing up, it's too dangerous. Yeah. Then reapply next month. The command staff changes. That would be way too overpowered. Like bing bing, perfect day. And spread a few coins here and there among the officers. Conversations all just feel so natural and crazy to observe. Push out into the harsh world. You are alone, but for a few allies. Sleepy time for the boys. Bonk. Duke hosts inauguration celebration. An extravagant inauguration ceremony for Empress Delilah Coldwin took place in the Grand Palace several nights ago as a show of support from all Sakonans. Guests from the event uh, that the guests at the event say that the festivities were not dampened by the absence of the Empress, who remained in Dunwall, busy with her official duties. In her place, a larger-than-life silver statue made her in her image grace the ceremony. Always lavish and full of surprises, it is no wonder Duke Abel wishes to be known as the Joyful Duke. The Grand Palace added that the absurd gossip regarding our ambassadors returning to Karnaka from Dunwall Tower with odd markings on their faces, uttering gibberish as if speaking a dead language, are preposterous rumours with no base in reality. It ain't real, guys. Conspiracy. Alright. Let us choose our first mark. We've got a few things to pick up, so I'll just bonk. Do that. So we've got a swimming. I was good, you know. Some of us used to give lessons at Adermeyer, back when it was open to the public. Different city in those days. Didn't know that. Man, you sure had a lot of different jobs. Guess so. I don't miss brining hagfish. Hands in salt all day, nails bleeding, choking on the factory air. At least when you joined the Grand Guard, you got a really soft position near the palace. You might change your mind about that after you've been here a while. Sometimes the Duke's friends do some strange shit. Really? Like what? One night, someone up there decided it'd be funny to throw down food at us. I got hit in the face with a pineapple. Then a whole roasted pig came down and split the boat in half. It was raining apples and meat pies. All sorts of nice food floating around in the water. Damn. People in the city starving. Life's just not the same when you live up there, is it? This 
this dude is gonna drown if I decide to do a drop assassination. <laughs> you can tell he's no good at the kissing just by looking. I'm not the one who did the kissing. If I decide to drop choke out this dude, this guy's gonna fall down into the water and drown and die. I can I can feel it. I can just I can feel it. Oh, he didn't. Oh my god. He actually proved me wrong. Well done, sir. You didn't drown. His instinct to fall backwards instead of forward when passing out has served him well. Okay. Now, we could swim across. I don't know if the carriage is uh, taking visitors at the moment. Uh, but if we take a look at our map of the Grand Palace. We enter via the stairs, it seems. Because the carriage is there on the rails. Exactly where I was meant to go, and now I'm inside of a carriage, but um Okay, I have now put myself inside of a carriage and I have regrets. <laughs> Can I hop in? I cannot. Nothing fancy for me to obtain here. through the front door. Anyone here? Kind of surprised that there isn't anyone here. There's another spirit here. Beyond its cage of flesh. There you go. Yes, there is indeed. Delilah's spirit. Hidden passage, okay. You're not losing your nerve, I hope. No, not at all. But how do you know which one is the Duke? I don't know where they found that guy with the political decoy job. But he looks and acts just like the Duke. I can't tell him apart. There are subtle differences. All right. Assuming you can pick out Duke Luca, how are we going to get his key? You leave that to me. Who knows what he's got in that vault? We'll be halfway to Gristle and writ. She's got eyes on her. If I have two. Very smart girl. I love that she didn't alert the guard, though, to me just watching her from there. That's pretty funny. They just stop. Anyway, we got the mission clue. <laughs> That's so stupid. Uh, so the Duke Luca Bell keeps the vault key on him. Uh, I would say the real one would have the key. The, the real Duke. figure out how to navigate this uh, place here. Choosing up here is very bright. The palace. Maybe I can find another way to neutralize the Duke. Well, we'll have a conversation with the fake one, apparently, because he's to protect the Duke's nice. Nope. As long as it's not me, I don't care. It was never any fun. I'm not sure it's worse, the Duke or his body double. Two guards were overheard discussing who's going to protect a Duke Luca Abella's quarters tonight. One's half likely to have you flogged for looking at him wrong. The other might just bore you to death. Got a window here that we can take. Oh man, we can see the spirit with the heart as well. That's crazy. Okay, cool. Huh. 
So that's where that is. We're as high as we can go. There's no dropping in the chimney like Santa Claus up here. Does look like we got something up here though. With a rewire tool as well. The elevator! Okay. Very good. Big place. Shall we infiltrate through the elevator? I mean, it looks like we can get right into the chambers straight away, get straight to business. Oy, that's, uh, that's a, that's a close one. It doesn't wanna, it doesn't wanna. Here, can I can just do this drop? God, this feels... Ooh, okay. Yep, all right, we're in a, we're in a tight space here. Nice, okay. Jukebell's Chambers. Where are you, though? Get a guard there. So, we are to determine whether this is the... Determine whether or not this is the real one. Um, this is risky. He turns around. Sure, Greeks. I've got to get a spare uniform. Oh, there he is. Never-ending paperwork. What's the point of being my father's son if I have to slave away like this? Ooh. Okay. What's the point? What's the point of being my father's son? Shift. Okay. If if he's in his own private chambers, he has no reason to like lie or make that up but I guess it could still be a part of like maintaining the act you need to like be the guy uh gotta be on our guard I'm gonna go over this way just to be underneath him gotta figure out another way to like I gotta get this guard's attention away from him so I can figure it out I want oh. to be alone with my thoughts Okay, I was going to set the alarm, but he's just been ordered to leave. <sighs> if I go up on that chandelier, I'm visible by the Duke. So that's not the move. Where's he gonna go? Will he call up the elevator or will he come? Dunwall's always been on. He's kind of strange luck for me. My poor brother died. My poor brother died there, but that's where I met Delilah. Constant complaining. Now we're hearing the working for the Duke's not so bad. As oh. long as your grand guard. It ain't to be anybody else right now. Okay, he's never earned. He's gone. And twice the soldier he is. I want you to say something. All right, so he's just gone. So he's on his own now. Running himself a nice bath. I met her as a boy, just a boy. Now we're connected. All these years later. Does he have the key on him? He do, looks like he does have the key on him too. Okay. Right on. How are we doing this? Uh, Wait till he goes out for a smoke <laughs> to determine. Oh shit! Whoa! Who are you? I'm intrigued. Wait. Jukabel or his body double? He just spotted me immediately, but it didn't go into. Oh, he's marked as not an enemy. Oh, he spotted me and called me over. Huh. Uh, hi! This is awkward, and not how I imagined that this would go at all. You're not one of Delilah's. Are you here about my new boots, perhaps? I want them redone. This must be the key to the Duke's vault. 
this could be the actual Duke. No offer to bow or kiss my hand? I could say the same. A mystery. Let's have it then. Who are you and what do you want? Oh shit, dude. Okay. Oh, we've just gone straight to the source, which is great. We're just like, oh, there's so much of this place. Right in. Uh, okay. What he has said so far, with the fact that he has the vault key, leads me to believe that this is the real Duke. Because I think when you're in the private chambers, you know, when you're on your own, you know? Oh, hang on. Was he sat down smoking? Wait. He was sat down smoking on the chair, wasn't he? Oh, that's very confusing. Wait. Now I'm just like, I'm doubting it because he was sat in the chair, but he was doing something and he was smoking, wasn't he? No, he was. Okay. This is very confusing because there's multiple aspects of this. You, I don't think you would trust the double to have the vault key. And then the way that this guy's talking is so genuinely keeping up the facade, but then he definitely was smoking, right? And the way that he's so nonchalant about us coming up to him, about my new boots, perhaps. I feel like the real Duke would know uh, uh, Emily, even under the mask. Oh, man. Listen, I think you're the Duke's body double. You can't have any love for the man. I'm here to end his rule, and I have an idea you should hear. Ah, you're perceptive. You figured it out. It occurs to me that you might make a more agreeable Duke than Luca Abel. If I wanted to depose him without having to slit his throat, do you think you could convince people that you're the Duke? Um, why are you just walking away? It's a good plan. Simple, but devious. I like it. Is he about to go for the alarm? Why did conversation just end? Let's do it, you clever stranger. Yeah? You go kill the Duke, and I'll take his place. The way that this whole conversation is... The way that this conversation is going makes me feel like this could be the real duke as well and he's going ha 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 you figured it out go kill the other guy you know don't you touch that alarm he's going right for it he's going right for the alarm he went right for the alarm he went right for the alarm go to sleep he went right for the alarm so if I actually rewired it he would have just zapped himself and died right this is the... Uh, this is the this real one. It is just like mad. Why can't I wear my regular clothes? Wait, but was he smoking? I don't know! I just like... I have to... <laughs> oh, that's so funny. He agreed to my terms, right? So if this is the body double, he'll wake up and go, Ah, understandable. Um, understandable, I did indeed go and have a little bit of a... Uh, you know, alarm bell moment. He was like right there. I don't know if I can trust that. Like he was, he was about to press the button. Here you go, have a bath. All right, people should not come and disturb you in You're here. Disgrace to your country, Duke of Bell. He's. He's only half in there! His head's above water! <laughs> no! Dude, I was being funny about it. How did he bleed out in the water? It wasn't that hot, was it? God damn it! Um, okay. Well, I'm not killing the guy, by the way. So, I fucked up. Uh, so I have to reload. I want to get another look at the Duke sitting down to see if he was smoking or not, or whether I just made that up in my head if I was panicking, right? I want to see him go and sit down. He wouldn't be smoking inside, though, would he? Maybe he was drinking. 
He's doing something. <laughs> it's the way that he talks about Delilah. It's the way that he talks about things, you know, where I'm just like, he's also got the key on this him. I was drinking. He was drinking, not smoking. Emily built Sirconis. After I'm gone, it serves no purpose. Yeah, he's drinking, not smoking. I was like, he's, he was doing something with his hands. And I was panicking. All right. So uh, we can definitely confirm this is the real Duke. And he goes, who are you? And he entertains us. And we're like, I think you're the body double. And then he goes to go and sound the alarm. He was like right in front of it. So I feel quite confident with that. He had the key. They said that the real Duke would have the key. But then I was like, wait. Was he smoking? It was, it was a mess. So what we're going to do, because we accidentally killed the man by putting him in a pool, and I thought he was going to just chill out there, you know, warm his legs a bit. We'll throw him on the bed. But because of that, I just want to... Un I didn't want to kill him. We're going to undo our little mistake there. And um, we're going to do things exactly the same as we just did it. So I will still commit my same mistake of thinking he's the double there. And then we'll just knock him out, put him on the bed. And we'll just forget about the part where I was an idiot and threw him in the water because I was just being silly, okay? Yeah. I was like, he was doing something with his hands, drinking, not smoking. No offer to bow or kiss my hand? I could say the same. A mystery. Let's have it then. Who are you and what do you want? So what we're going to do is we're going to say he's the body double. But I, I love how he plays along with that. It's very smart of him. So I thought that he'd be able to figure out who I am. Listen, I think you're the Duke's body double. You can't have any love for the man. I'm here to end his rule. And I have an idea you should hear. Ah, you're perceptive. You figured it out. It occurs to me that you might make a more agreeable duke than Luca Abel. If I wanted to depose him without having to slit his throat, do you think you could convince people that you're the duke? And he immediately goes to this, <sighs> right? He immediately just stops even discussing this anything with be you. The key to the duke's vault. Plan. Simple, but devious. I like it. Let's do it, you clever stranger. You go kill the Duke, and I'll take his place. This was another thing, because that's another clue. You go kill the Duke, and I'll take his place. Where we said we want to depose him without slitting his throat. Yes, yes, that's right. I'm not the Duke of Sirconis. Just a political decoy. <laughs> yeah. All right, buddy. Good night. Good night. You've had your fun. Get on the bed. You asshole. All right, so there you go. Uh, how it was supposed to happen where I didn't fuck around for laughs and put him in a bathtub. So we've just knocked out the the real one. We now have the, the key. Uh, and I guess we could go and look for the fake one and then mention the whole buddy double thing and... Uh, try to get him on our side I don't know if a guard will come back in to check on the Duke after he sent them away I would hope that that's just a permanent uh, permanent thing uh, now we get to investigate his actual uh, apartment as well his room hopefully without being seen by um, the guards outside microphone huh I can just use that um don't think that's a smart idea for me to use that. Then she'll leave him. I think it would be much better if someone else spoke through the microphone. Give me your money. Got the Duchess in Green by Douglas Harwickle, historian. Much has been written on Theodonus Abel and his sons, but in her own quiet way, the Duchess Calisabel made contributions to Sirconos that will never be forgotten. 
A collector of artwork, she commissioned the painting Radanus Bells in Cogruence with Time from Anton Sokolov. It was a tribute to her late son Radanus, who died at the hands of a deranged street scoundrel while studying abroad. The Duchess of Bell was also an architect and busied herself with projects as varied as the building of the Orphans of Seafarers Academy and the installation of the marble flooring in the original Ducal Palace. The marble was a gift to the Abel family from the late Empress Jessamine Coldwin, who had the stone quarried from the cliffs of Redmoor. However, the ducal residence was raised to make room for a new palace constructed under the direction of Luca Abel. Substantially, all of the artworks and treasures from the old residence were lost or destroyed. Callus was a private person and rarely made public appearances. She died in her 57th year after a tragic fall from a balcony. Yeah, it was an accident. Apparently we've read that one before, because it didn't come up as new, but I don't... It's one that I do not remember reading. Oh, actually, hang on. It looks like this is his bed. Let's put him up on his private chambers, and then he shouldn't be disturbed. This is his big lovemaking bed. Put him in his actual chambers. That way, people will hear him snoring and be like, I will not disturb him. There you go. Note to the Grand Councillors. Esteemed Councillors, I won't be able to attend our gathering tomorrow morning, or should I say in two hours. I'm going to bed now, but I'm confident you will know what to do about that curfew decree. Buy more walls of light, give the Grand Guard greater enforcement latitude, ban all popular committees, whatever is required. But I want you to start thinking about something else. I have no doubt we'll soon bring the infamous Crown Killer to justice. Our true Empress Delilah wants the trial to make history. Prepare all the details, bloody exhibits and demented witnesses. If I don't cry while reading the prosecution speech, you're all fired. Jesus. When I first met with my inner circle, I saw nervous faces. Even the boldest were afraid, wondering if we'd live to see another feast. Now Zirconis is a sentient, but this is a story that began long years before. I knew Delilah when I was only a boy, and even after she was lost, dead and gone from the world, her memory burned in my mind. Until finally I began to hear her whispering, calling to me from the void. Telling her story of growing up in Dunwall Tower and the half-sister who cheated her of her throne. Then she told me there was a way to bring her home. Delilah. Beautiful. Immortal. So she told the Duke the same thing about the half-sister with the throne. And that could be clever manipulation to get someone on your side. <laughs> oh. <laughs> to get someone on your side that would believe you wholeheartedly about the throne situation, even if it's a lie from her end. But goddamn, I've been so adamant that it was a lie. And here we are. Why can't I get this painting for gold, guys? Okay. What's that? Delilah Copperspoon. Indeed. Alright, I think we've spent enough time in this area. I think it's time for us to move on. He's got another bedroom. Oh, 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 what? Hang on, what? What just saw me? Oh, through, through here? Through the little gap in there, seriously? Sakunin legends, knock her at the window. How many bedrooms does this man have? Which one's his actual bedroom? <laughs> petition project. Dear Armando, I loved your idea for a petition, so I wrote it up at once. Of course, the Palace Grand Guard refused to take it, so it seems that, as Luca's potential political decoy, you're the only one who might be able to bring it to the Duke's attention. This is asking a lot from you, but if it succeeds, the petition could make a tremendous difference in Karnaka. So Armando is the decoy. <laughs> there you go. 
So this is his room, perhaps. Duke Luca Abel. As you know, the silver mines have been pressed beyond capacity, resulting in constant danger for the miners and completely contaminating the surrounding district. There is, however, a possible solution, which I hope you will consider and put your support behind. I am preparing a petition asking the wealthy individuals who profit from the silver trade to accept a 20% tax on silver that will be applied to improving the lives of the miners and their families. Eventually, the increased silver prices will also reduce the demand on the mines, slowing the dust falling on the Batista district. I would be grateful if you would agree to be the first signatory on my upcoming petition with high hopes for Sia Pasto. There you go. So, Armando's idea for the petition... They're trying to push in stuff as the decoy. Stilton and Abel to discuss the Miners Fund, which we have read. So I got seen through there. Oh! Hi! Hello! Gr welcome! Wow! Wow! That's crazy. I can't grab him? Okay. No mercy! That's wild that I couldn't grab him there, but we'll just do that. Jesus! <laughs> so this man saw me through there, I think, and walked all the way up to come and investigate. Whoa, where did you guys come from? What in the world? Okay. We have a situation. I cannot grab him because of the door. Where did you guys come from? <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Okay. Hey, where did you go? Oh my god! Okay. What happened here to get all of these men coming up together? I thought only one dude saw me. Oh shit. What happened to him? Yeah, look under there, man. He might be in there. Three dudes came after me. And you're all sleeping in the same room now. My god. Alright, shut the door. And here I thought we'd be safe, just kind of, uh... Leaving this place alone. Alright. Anyway, I think we can move on with our lives now. We've spent a decent amount of time in this one room. Everything we need is below us now. It's gonna be tough. Void for all I care. I've got enough to worry about. They're constant complaining. Yeah, this is uh, this is not gonna be an easy, an easy one. Because you want to cut right for the objective, but at the same time, there's stuff to be found. Hot. The bath's too cold. My vest has a wrinkle. Do it yourself, then, if it's got to be so bleak and perfect. The machine is running at low speed. chambers. Okay. We've got a painting. Her face is my smile. That's Emily? Anything else to be found in her chambers? A guard admiring a painting. What's wrong with people? Um. 
Gotta get rid of that maid. At least I'm working in the good part of town now. Jeez, okay. I can only carry one tray at a time. I'm only human. One tray. Do they think there are two with me? I'm gonna hurt this unfortunate. Okay, it's okay, never mind. I'm gonna hurt your head. I'm so sorry about this. Yep. Okay, didn't have to jump on her from <laughs> on top. A lot to discover in this palace. Have a nap. There you are, the two of them. Not enough notes on desks for me to read. Oh, Delilah's diary. Hello. Indeed. Do we get the truth? <laughs> I painted the ocean today. The clever tide left messages in froth and detritus on the rocks. The waves use a secret language to synchronize their efforts. If I could learn to speak as the waves do, then I would have a powerful ally. And why should I not learn the language of the ocean? Those years in the void changed my senses, and now I perceive things others cannot know. I have a strong desire to paint my niece, Emily Coldwin, bound to a burning pyre. I had matched the reds of her flame, of the flame with her insufferable mouth, her spoiled, sullen pout. Maybe I will begin sketches soon, or maybe I'll grow bored with the notion. Luca continues to use Karnika as his playground. I am pleased he is unrestrained by the petty restraints of society and so-called etiquette. I am only beginning to understand the ways I've changed, but my duke is the same as he ever was since he was a boy. Wonderful to be so carefree. If I could, I would move on Dunwall today, but there is no better moment than the anniversary of Jessamine's death. Our approach will be masked by other visitors from across my empire, and there will be a certain symmetry that historians will no doubt find most satisfying between my sister's death and my own ascension. In her own personal diary, she's saying this. Uh, I think we have to accept the fact that this is actually the truth about Delilah. And there was just no mention of that and her motivation in the Brigmore Witches DLC. And I suppose that comes down to the fact that, like I've said earlier, it would probably wasn't written to be that way at the time. And then they've gone with this angle that's very, very interesting. Um, and you doubt the validity of it, but it seems that it is very much true. Clumsy assassin. Very good. Nobody really has a reason to lie in their own personal diary. Just in the way that the Duke had no reason to lie when he's in his own chambers talking about things that we were looking at. Indeed. Getting the Brigmore Witches vibes from the paintings. head down a floor and see what's going on here. I almost uh, just pressed open instead of hold to open the keyhole, which is very dangerous. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the alarm here. Okay, I'm going to set the alarm and we're going to... What a dump. Does that not work? Is it only if they're in the room itself? Doesn't work. Okay. Now I can hit something and they'll be attracted to the noise, but that is, that's clumsy.
how strange it is to see my face on all the coins in Zirconis and not be able to spend a single one. Okay, hang on. The other duke is nearby. There he is. The other duke is nearby. Okay. Sure, reeks. I've got to get a spare uniform. He's smoking. There you go. He's smoking. Can't choke him out from this angle, which uh, is very awkward. My one weakness, um, uh, being at a different angle, like, uh, fuck it. I just put you to sleep at this point. Like, I'm trying to look for creative ways to not use the sleep darts. That's like the funny part. <laughs> and then I'm like, fuck it. At that point, you're just using the sleep dart. All right. Meet here, my boy. Okay. So, we should be able to approach this other duke in the same way we approached the other. There's a clockwork soldier in here. Take this opportunity to back charge second coil. They're idling, it though. seems the duke has some of the Jindosh clockwork soldiers. Oh, this is his proper office. Okay. Being put up on the scale like some prize bull each week. Told to gain a pound or two to keep up with the good duke. Okay, he's definitely got a good, uh... He's definitely got a good bit of dialogue that's uh, convincing us straight away that he is definitely the body double, and he also smoked. <laughs> oh, the look on him! And my face. name on their lips. Well, who was he expecting? The Empress? What a fool! Who's she to say I didn't deserve the promotion? She wouldn't know promotion if it hit her in the head. In fact, maybe that's what she for my paintings. It laughs with his friends at how bad mine are. Bastard. Oh, he's a talented artist. Okay, hello. Hey! I'm standing here. That's rude. No offer to bow or kiss my hand. I could say the same. A mystery. Let's have it then. Who are you and what do you want? That's fun. That's pretty fun. They do the exact same thing. And then we're going to give him the exact same plan. Listen, I think you're the Duke's body double. You can't have any love for the man. I'm here to end his rule, and I have an idea you should hear. All right, you've figured it out. But if you're not here to assassinate the Duke, what do you want? It occurs to me that you might make a more agreeable Duke than Luca Abel. If I wanted to depose him without having to slit his throat, do you think you could convince people that you're the Duke? That's bold. I have to admit it's crossed my mind. If people believed that I was actually Duke Abel and that he was the political decoy, we could have him committed for lunacy. We could convince everyone that the Double's finally lost his mind and believes he's the Duke. I've spent years perfecting my performance, but there's a catch. He's got a medallion that I need. Even if I sound convincing, which should be the easy part, his Grand Guard officers will ask to see the medallion as proof. Luca never puts it aside. All right. It shouldn't take me long. Once it's done, I'll be leaving the city. Soon after, I'll send instructions from Dunwall, and I'll expect a great deal of flexibility and cooperation on your part. There's still time to pull Sir Konos back from the edge of the cliff. We can undo the damage Duke Abel has inflicted. I'd like that. But I'll guide Sir Konos in the ways I see fit for the people here, not as the hand-chosen puppet of your empire. If you agree with that, just render the Duke unconscious and bring him to his chambers. I'll handle the rest. How did he did that? Okay, and then he shows up as the non-lethal one. And, oh, yeah, actually they both have the same key, perhaps. Okay. And then he's just Don't leaving. raise an alarm. You've got to keep things calm for this to work. Honestly, if you would have killed Luca, the Grand Guard probably would have hung me anyway. There's so much that could be done from this palace. So many things that could be better. 
Okay, this is actually amazing because this like the way that uh, like Emily's like, look, I rehearsed this speech. I'm giving it to this guy a second time, you know, <laughs> and then it actually definitely goes better this time. I never thought this would happen. It's exciting. But remember, to make this work, you've got to be stealthy. Oh, that's my middle name. Get the Duke, bring him to his room and be careful about it. Don't raise a ruckus. Well, well I've done this. But now I have to bring him to that bed. I thought I brought him to the right bed, but apparently not. Oh, there's a chest key, so that's different. Where are you? Okay, so he's just gonna go chill. Don't get in there! It's poisonous, it killed the last duke. <laughs> the last time a duke went in there, he never got out again. Not by his own means, anyway. Where's the duke? Are you going to go through with it? Okay. And here's me thinking I was putting him in his correct bed upstairs. Silly me. Okay. This has been quite the journey. Um, and then after this, we can do a hidden passage and also do the spirit and pick up everything else before we leave. Hello, sleepy. A medallion. All the proof we need, and then we can go and check out the office and not wake up the clockwork soldiers. Hi. Hey. Hide in one. Hey, yeah. Hey, yeah. That's it then. Now it's up to me. I'll take the medallion and call them. I'll be watching. Break a leg. <laughs> Don't worry. I've spent years mimicking this asshole. You're gonna have to stop smoking, you know. Captain Almeida, come at once to my chambers. There's a problem. Quick, hide up there. Oh, we get to watch this take place. Your Eminence, are you all right? Yes, yes, Captain. Please arrest this clown. Seems that he took his role a little too seriously. Get your hands off me! The work man. He served me well for years. We'll never find anyone else who so bears my resemblance. Take him away, Captain. But be gentle. I think I understand, Your Eminence. We'll handle it. What? This is outrageous. I'll have you all skinned alive and set in a salt bath. If only there was something we could do for him. I suppose all those years pretending it was me that eventually took its toll. No! Stop! I am the Duke of Circurnus! You can't do this! Dr. Hypatia at Atomire will know what to do with the poor man. Huh? Did she go back to Atomire? That's a weird line. She never asked for the medallion! What? Oh, 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 there's a bunch of bodies in that room. Oh shit. <laughs> um, Duke, there's a bunch of bodies in that room. Did they all go into that room? Why did they go into that room? Did they? Why did, why? Okay, search over here. Oh, I'll check sh that area out. Yo, shit. <laughs> Come on! I don't have time for games! Oh, dude. Bruh, this is, um... No, I'm sure. This is very funny. Um. Oh, that's noisy. Okay. This is laughable. I wonder who that was. The fact that, like, oh my god. Just the fact that they had to go into that room where I hid all the bodies. That was my body hiding room, dude. Oh, hello. <laughs> my fucking body hiding room. Oh my god. And they put him in here. Uh, bling. Come on, bling. 
There you go. Now everyone's asleep and that dude, that dude died? I shot him with the sleep dart. What the fuck, dude? Oh my God. This is like, I think the greatest part about that is, and the, and the fun about playing Dishonored in this way is you don't know how things are gonna lay uh, are gonna play out. You don't know where characters are gonna go after events play out. So you're like, you're going along, you're doing your plan. I'll hide my bodies in here. Nobody will come in here. And then you set this whole thing up, and they walk into the room with all of the bodies. Classic. Very good indeed. And then I have to fix my mess. It's very fun. I hope it's entertaining. Hmm. I'm still trying to get my head around this. It's incredible. They didn't ask for the medallion, and they mentioned Dr. Hypatia at Adamaya, oh. which feels weird to me. God, you feel uncomfortable now. It'll be dicey for a while, because I may be missing a few details. As quickly as I can, I'll turn over the palace guard. That will help cover me. Yeah, and hopefully you'll be like, I'm taking up smoking now because of the stress. <laughs> Once you're off for Dunwall, I'll wait for your messages. Crazy. Okay, uh, now we'll go to the office. And then, obviously, we still have uh, Delilah's spirit to take care of as well. I'm glad that that doesn't alert any clockwork soldiers. I'd like to keep them chilling. If I smack that, ooh. If I smack that glass open, I assume that that will activate the uh, the soldiers. So I will forsake picking up some treasures for now. General detection state. Um, hello. Okay. You don't have your eyes turned on, so don't don't do any detecting. for detection registered. Hearing, sir, we were confused by your most recent response. The Duke was, well, he was furious. He sent me to interview you about your progress. One of the maids took me for a walk. We dug huh. beetles in the park with shiny green shells. I don't understand, Mr. Jindosh. Working with Anton Sokolov, were you successful at lowering the cost of clockwork soldier production? The Duke is expecting a reduction of 80 to 90 percent, based on your own estimates. She let me keep a few of them in a jar. I pulled off their legs. Ah, uh, that's interesting. Let me remind you, as Grand Inventor, you've been given everything you requested. But with that comes a responsibility for deadlines. An expectation of progress? Wait, I remember the under taking your talking about now yes yes excellent so what can i tell the duke i had a visitor i think or maybe they came for sokolov it's hard to recall the details and the she just began scouting the facility and she was finding a way waking up the difference engine is inscribed in copper oh, this indicates the search protocol is underway I can't. It's it steps back. away. The beetles we found today, I'm going to give them all names. This is useless. What the am I going to tell you? Search is underway. Okay, there's an interview with Jindosh. Uh, unfortunately, that activated the clockwork soldier downstairs, not even the one in this room very unfortunate. Hey. <gasps> yeah. I wonder what I'm dealing with. Yeah. Okay. Get out of here, will ya? <laughs> Now I have two clockwork soldiers running around. Can 
Can you attach a stun mine to one? If I put a stun mine on the floor, it'll work multiple times. Back facing yeah. visual detection. Okay, shut it down. There you go. Uh, one stun mine and its multiple uses will reduce a clockwork soldier to nothing. Running search protocol. And we're going to do it with the other one too. Because why not? Quarry lost. Cooling down. The machine is lost. Okay. And then I got my ivory after all. There we go. Isn't that nice? <laughs> Jesus. That went well. And all I wanted to do was listen to an audiograph, guys. The hunt for lore means you make sacrifices. First Captain Safe, sir, I escorted the proprietor of the Winslow Safe Shop onto the palace grounds and into the Grand Guard Barracks yesterday evening. He mucked about with the safe in the First Captain's office, so now the combination is set to 360. Very nice. The First Captain's office. Okay, so this is... just means... what is... to go check downstairs. Wow. I wonder how many guards are still left inside. There's definitely going to be a, quite a few outside. You're taking a nap. Reception and dining. We've been playing every day for weeks now. Ah, come on, you All bastards. of this to entertain a statue? Someone said hmm. the Duke believes Empress Delilah can talk to him through the statue. Well, if he's trying to pull off Papa some witchcraft love trick, he's doing it wrong. <clears throat> and I can't feel my fingertips anymore. Come on, come on, come on! Boy, give me luck. It feels like we're living in an age of wonders. No plague, no war, no taxes, if you know the right people. New machines and new ideas. We eat the finest food. Oh, dude. In the Passed grand. out. Having a bit of a feast. The old woman living in the alley behind my apartment died the other night. Did I tell you? Is this dude dead? The guard took her yarn shop. Is that blood or drowned in trees. wine? The drinking well was tainted. That's why this man looks dead. Did anyone forget to check on this dude? Shit. <laughs> Uh, we've got Grand Guard and a Wolfhound over there. Okay, hold on. Okay, how are we doing this? I don't think you can domino a hound. We've got a few guards in here. If I put them all to sleep, everyone else in this room is going to freak out though. I specifically want this dude, because he's the one that looks like he's actually roaming about the place. Everyone else is kind of just passed out, but we may be able to just go right past him and avoid that entirely. So I think we'll just leave that room alone. Get a bone charm around the corner here. Make it start on this shift. Oh, 
would you do if you were the Duchess of Zirconos, or some other ruler? The Queen of Morley, or even the Empress? More of what I already do. Screwing, eating fine meals, smoking the best haboweed. And when I wasn't doing that, I'd be buying exotic furniture from Tivia, having my apartments redecorated. So you wouldn't really change much? Oh, no, of course not. What's the point of having power if you can't do whatever you want? Okay. Um, are we are we slipping in and getting this bone charm from the sleeping ladies? Can I do this? Oh, hello. Oh, hang on. Oh, she's dead. What have you women done? Whatever you need. been Okay. Good night. <laughs> She's just... What? what? That's not right! <laughs> Imagine a body just... She runs out calling for help and just falls. And now she's, um... Now she's given herself head. Um... What did you women do to this poor woman? She's dead. Unfortunate craftsmanship. There's just, like, dead bodies lying around. Enemy grenades sometimes malfunction. Oh, God. Okay. Sure. Alright, let's get our next target. If the old duke could only see this. Wasteful expense. Wanton flesh. And such terrible wines. At least he knew better than to serve Tivian with hagfish. Joke if you want to. Our new duke spends more in one month than his father spent in a year. <clears throat> Old Theodana Sabel was tight with the coin. When the war is done, we'll have a lot of people in tribute. This is the Circonian age, my friend. The age of Luca Abel. Something, something, and happier. The old Duke was wise. Yes, the old Duke was careful. But the new Duke was glad to get rid of I didn't even... Oh, uh, God. I should let go of my trigger a bit prematurely there. What the hell? What are you guys doing? What is going on, dude? Are there people just around here getting, like, tied up, drowned in wine and killed? Like, what is going on here? What's the matter? You oh, is it like a throwing contest or something? Tied the dudes up. Are you all right? Forgot to ask her where she has her wrong? silver embroidery. That woman needs to mind her own business. I'm out here being an assassin. What are you doing to the poor men? Jesus Christ. I don't even like to hear them talk. They're called lower class for a reason. <sighs> Low, lower, lowest. And the smell. Oh, should we just, uh, bonk right in the head? There's a note there that I wish to read. However, it requires me taking care of these. We do a bit of this, do a bit of this, and have them sit over there. And if I link this dude, and then we choke this guy out. It takes care of the others. We can all sleep together. Good night, everybody. Rough, dude. Fruit thief. Fourth Corporal Chen. I don't really care what you do with this fool. Elias, whatever his name is, he's a thief, but all he's done is steal some of the Duke's fruit. Most of it rots anyway, since the Grand Palace gets about ten times more than it needs each week. Give our sticky-fingered friend a beating, humiliate him in some way, or just make up a fine that he's got to pay. Makes no difference to me. Captain Sandoval. Okay, so he was stealing fruit, and uh, that was his brutal punishment. Wow. They could rot in the void for all I care. I've got a to worry about without their constant complaining. Ah, uh, we've got our captain. Hello, captain. 
first captain's office. Captain, would you mind if I... Whee! Oh, never mind. That's awkward. Shit! Alright, Captain, would you mind if I... Whee! Let's try this again. Good night, Captain. Security reinforcement. Deploy additional guards to the Duke's chambers, as his eminence will stay there tonight. Grand Guard safe. Captain, Mr. Mileto from the Winslow Safe Company was able to reopen the regiment's safe. We had to try different combinations for over two hours. Anyway, now we'll finally be able to distribute this week's pay. Mileto advised us he set the combination to something the on-duty officers can remember. He suggested we use something like the average pay for a retired veteran, but I don't think triple zero makes a very secure combination. I just chose something else and I left it written in the Duke's office. Well, that's not handy at all. It's a good reason. It's a good thing we were already there. We know that it is three six zero. The six is in the right place at the at least. And for get ourselves a rune. All right, we have five. So we can now do an upgrade that I was thinking of for Mesmerize. So we can do uh, the extended duration and get up to three targets. We can go into crafting some more. Just a straight up like health and regeneration. Like, I think when you're playing on hard, you just die so quickly anyway. So we're going to get an upgrade to get three, and then we're going to increase the time for Mesmerize as well. We'll do that instead. Okay, Captain. That's normal stuff to have at your desk. A bit of a, bit of a stock up that we can have in here. Note for Captain Sandoval. I'm an engineer, sir, not some kind of magician. If the foundation of the Grand Palace was built at an uneven grade, how am I supposed to keep it from flooding? How do you expect my crew to stop the ocean itself? Duke Bell wanted another entrance to his precious vault, and now we warned him that was a bad idea, given the foundation. So now every time the storage room and the external passage flood, we're called in to fix the problem. This is a fundamental structural problem. The Duke's house, as it were, is not built on a solid foundation. There you go. So a new entrance to the vault which is actually uh, down near the problem. The storage room and the external passage. We'll have to take a look at that, won't we? We'll see how we can get into the normal vault anyway. Check the door. This music is a little creepy. Creepy. They're all passed out. They've, uh, they've had uh, a lot of partying today. Alright, our next looting item is we'll get this bone charm over here. Having another nap out here. What happened here? Oh, something stinks around here. It's not my job to clean. Get another, another dead body. God, these doors are gonna open in his direction, aren't they? Huh? Grab him real quick. Someone. Off goes the maid. What? Oh, hello. Um, hi, Mister. No way! No use running! Oh. Hello, mister. Into the road for you! I don't want to die! Okay. I seem to have alerted the guards. Huh. 
they got a tower by the throne. Oh, is that how this dude died? Okay. Um, what's the range on this bad boy? Okay, there we go. Let's get that. Let's get that off, shall we? There we go. You wanted the bone charm so bad. Assassin's Fortune. Okay. Bolts have a slight chance of containing a crossbow bolt. Bolt packs. That's fine. Okay, that maid lives to fight another day. Uh, we now wish to head to. Uh, we got a rune and a bone charm over this way. We got to go down even further. Throne room, me. Could spend hours just looking across the bay. You won't see any whales this far south. They like the colder, deeper water. We get a few, but not today. Besides, I'm more interested in the occasional boat, or maybe catching a glimpse of something going on at Adermire. This is the life, isn't it? My mother's old money. So, to tell you the truth, it's the only life I've known. They're all so annoying. What? Somebody's not feeling well. I think that's most of the people here. Most of the people are not feeling well. The tea's oh, too hello. hot. The bath's too cold. My vest has a wrinkle. Do it yourself, then, if it's got to be so bleeding perfect. The maid from earlier has now been given some rest. There you go. You can stay with this sick people. There you go. Have a sleep. Now, we have to get down here. I don't know what this is even is, but we will turn it off. I hear blood flies here. Yeah. Let's get that turned off. What are we looking at here? Abandoned storage. Is this how we can get into the vault? the flooding tunnel. A lot of alcohol we probably could have brought in from downstairs to get here. Blood flies, eh? Hey? That's why we have these. So we can get to that rune that we have marked down this way. And then we also have a black bone charm, which looks like we're also getting down this way too. As well as Delilah's spirit. All right, so we have the flooded chamber they were talking about. Uh, I've got limited breath. Um, very limited breath. Which is why we have a bone charm for just this. So you could also equip the one where you can craft it and stack them together. Um, I'll take off a bit of blood just now because we've just taken them out. Um, what was it? It was strong lungs. There you go. Greater lung capacity underwater. Oh, hang on. Uh, I need to find... Where are we going from here? Yeah. Ooh, 
through here. Aha! I see. Very good. Here we go. This is what we get for the Duke insisting on putting an entrance to the vault in storage. We have our uh, dark extraction. Shadow Walk assassination restores some health. Nice. Delilah Copper Spoon. And Delilah Copper Spoon once again. Okay, now with that in mind. Let's see what Duke here. Bell keeps hidden away in here. And I guess we could slip out via the hidden passage and get out of here. Ooh. Okay. They have their own sort of plotting. Remove this playback after the final. This must be the Duke's vault. They have their own like plots that they're doing here, similar to to ours. It's crazy to think about the fact that like we're just dealing with this small area, right? Like, there's so much more up there. There's just so much of this world we have not even been able to experience which is amazing folded galavani resin okay okay we unlock because we had the key now, I remember that we had the chest key with the uh, body double, so I don't know where that's where that is, is exactly, set. I've also got to find that one. Play oh, yes. The eyes in the back of his head. Yes. Something tripped the detection rig unduly. Come on. Where are you? Come on. General detection state. Come on. Come on. Come on, little guy. Walk to the stun mine. There we go. Good night. Okay. What is that? Hmm. It's like there was something. Oh, uh, here. Right. We picked up one of those in Jindosh's place, but I don't know what they what they do. Yummy, yummy, yummy! All of your treasures, give them to me. This is the thing Ashworth made to hold Delilah's spirit. It's cool. Before we interact with it, however, and destroy the Horcrux. Oh, there is another one. We also need to keep this old thing. We also need to remain aware of the fact that we. I think we're about to have to say goodbye to our mother through the heart as well. As a farewell, sadly. Aramis Stilton. Okay, let me check up here. So we got in the back way, but I want to know what's up here. Where's the soldier at that we heard? Still idling. Take this opportunity oh. to back charge second coil. On the outside of there, okay, he's guarding outside. Oil gotcha. Just wondering if there was any paintings or anything. Crystal was good, I had my opinion. Okay, shall we? <sighs> Time to say farewell to mother and collect Delilah's spirit. This is it. You must release me from this dead vessel. Only then will you be able to trap Delilah's spirit. I don't know how I can do this. You were all I ever wanted. I stayed as long as I could, trying to guide you. 
The world is better for your influence. Be at peace, Mother. I will honor you, always. Oh, I love you. And this is the final fault I carry into the abyss. That's so beautiful. I love how much more of the heart and Jessamine we got with Emily here. So perfect. So it's done. Now to take the live soul back to Dumbo. Hey. The heart of my half sister. Only the flesh remains. This is great. Maybe Delilah's spirit was holding it together. This is great because now we have a brand new heart, right? And I'm assuming if I am to squeeze it, I will be given Delilah's inner thoughts. But what do we reckon? Because it's her spirit and it's something that's intrinsically linked to Delilah. I wonder how aware of this she is right now. Like, can she feel it? Like when a Horcrux is destroyed, Voldemort's like, ah! you know? Jessamine is gone at last. Fading into the nothing. Her reward is peace. Oh, it's like dark and twisted now. You will never gain back what you lost here. Now just smash the heart. Destroy it! Cast it into the fire! You are alone now. I'm your only family. I inhabit two impossible places at once. Does the heart do the same thing that if you point at an important person, it'll give you thoughts on them, I wonder, as well? The prison of dead flesh. After a prison of bones. You will take me back and die at my hands. Hmm. Okay. I always hoped it. Come on, hey, come on. Where did you go? Relax, fellas. You heard a couple of footsteps on some stairs. Relax, will ya? Oh well, never mind. I'm gonna need you to move, sir, because these doors gotta open. This is such an unfortunate place for you to be standing, mate. Hmm. Whoa. What was that? So let's see. What was it? Hello? Anybody? Don't make me search the whole place. <laughs> Something feels wrong. Hi. Here we are. Someone else here. Just about ready to move on with our lives. We've been in this fancy rich hellhole for long enough now. It's about time we got the hell out of here. You will take me back. And die at my hands. <laughs> Just like, what the fuck? Oh, damn. oh, that's so funny. I was like, just totally went right over him. Over him. He's just sat on the chair. I mean, sat on the stair. That's great. He's just taking, he's just having a little sit, dude. And I'm like, yep. Yeah. Oh, she stopped talking. This is the part of the mission where Emily gets antsy and she's like, oh, I've had to do so much dancing around. Let me get the hell out of here. So we're going to Jukabel's private dock, apparently. Now the upper floors are pretty clear from what we've done. So I think we'll be able to head on out this way. Oh, hello. Be on your way and I'll be on mine. 
Oh yeah, these guys were having a match in here, weren't they? They seem like an important crowd. I'm curious if there's uh I wanna actually check this out. I don't even like to hear them talk. They're Can't. And you're just chilling there. I wanna. Ooh, I could mesmerize, but there's four of them. King Sparrow, blood and feathers. Damn it! I need to pee. I need to pee. I can't get him through the... through here. Let's see what you got. Alright, here we go. Love the smoke. Needs Papa needs a win. Oh, look at... okay, you're going everywhere except where I want you to be. I want you to get... <coughs> there you go. Thank you. That's exactly where I wanted you to be. God. Kiss the outsider's balls for luck. The outsider's balls for luck. Alright. Leave me alone! Huh? Oh. What? Um, <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Those, uh, those civilians had really sharp eyes to see me around here. Someone! No, guys, they're all sleeping. All the guards are sleeping. And this, so is this one out, out here. Patience are plenty for Hypatia's return. A rare piece of welcome news today, fellow citizens of Karnaka. Dr. Alexandra Hypatia has returned to us. For months, we have endured uncertainty about her safety and whereabouts, dark speculation, and endless runaround from the Grand Palace. When Duke Bell closed the doors of Adamire Institute, it only served to raise our concerns about Hypatia's situation. But let it not be said that the Silver Spike reports only on ill winds. It seems that all indeed is well. Dr. Hypatia has confided that she suffered of late from an exhaustive derangement which kept her from her medical duties. Now on her way to a full recovery, she sends word that though she is temporarily working away from Adamaya, she will give free consultation to anyone in need. Appointments can be made at the offices of the Miners Family Committee. So she's still not at Adamaya, so that guard was really weird with what she uh, said about um, Hypatia. for us to leave via the private dock. I think we have been here long enough, don't you? Settle down, stomach. Dinner will be in you shortly. We're not overstay our welcome now, do we? A couple of clockwork soldiers as well that will be very happy to see us. I heard blood flies for a second. The private garden. Okay. I see our dock. And here we are. And we here. sit here and we wait. Now to wait. <laughs> there she is. She's coming in. <laughs> I've been waiting here, just sitting in my comfortable chair for you to arrive. You survived the Oh, wait, oh, I thought you're not coming all the way to me? Okay. 
I'll, ju I'll just swim over to you. It's fine. Shh. Hi. Why are you meeting me here? <laughs> I'm not the actual dog. I know you, it's probably danger close, but you're already close enough. So, is that it? The fall of Karnaka? From now on, the Duke will be guided by better stars. Back to the dreadful whale, then, and on toward Dunwall. Yes, at long last. Nice. To take back the throne and find a way to save my father. Ready, then? Let's go. This water is very aggressive. Let's set out. All right. As you want. Okay, let's see the awful results. We had one death. <laughs> one death took place. Our overall chaos level is low, and that is the important part. Uh, we got all of our runes, shrines, charms, paintings, and blueprints. Enter Duke Luca Abel's vault through the secret pantry passage. Swam into the submerged storage room beneath the palace grounds. Replaced Duke Luca Abel with his body double. Removed the broken gazelle from Duke Luca Abel's vault. And tricked the black market shopkeeper into opening the back door. Lovely indeed. There you go. What a mission. Just packed. There we go. So meet with um, Megan Foster and Anton Sokolov to discuss your return to Dunwall. It's happening. I grew up with this broken skyline. The muted colors and the way the light falls. It's Dunwall, but it's not. Have I changed? Or does everything just look different when you're not wearing a crown? Whatever grand scheme you've got underway now, Delilah, you were smart when you stole this place from me. You knew who among my people to corrupt, and you took away my strongest ally, my father. But you didn't know me. You only saw a sheltered princess. You never thought I'd fight back. You don't know me, Delilah, but you will. <laughs> but you will. Great. I love all that Emily has learned. You know, it's so good. That was another incredible mission. I really liked that palace segment. Hard to beat time traveling level. That's for sure. But you know, it's, it's going to happen. <laughs> and there's our little souvenir. Let us write in the travel log about our adventures. The Grand Palace. And then Death to the Empress. I grieve for a second time. What was it like to walk with her heart somewhere near, but never quite in the real world? It was her wisdom, her insight, her voice, her love. Mother, now I've lost you twice. I knew her spirit was trapped. I knew she needed to be set free, but how could I? Of course she found a way to help me one last time. No, I will not cry. Not yet. Not until all my work is done. Now the heart contains a different spirit, a different voice. Delilah Copperspoon, spinner of lies, thief of thrones. Delilah the selfish, cunning and cruel. The Duke of Karnaka. Not so long ago, I would have gladly thrust a dagger into Duke Abel's chest, but a more subtle opportunity presented itself and I took it. The Duke still lives, but they dragged him away, thinking he was his own political double gone mad. And the Duke's actual double? I think he'll be a much better Duke than the real one ever was. People will never know their ruler suddenly gained wisdom or took on a kind of tone. Maybe they'll wonder why Empress Emily changed just as suddenly. I'm not the same person I was two months ago. Now there's only one more task before I can rest. Rest. Corvo, my father, I am coming. Back to Dunwall. Dunwall, my home. Terrible things, no doubt, happened here since I left, since I was forced to leave. Will the city be in ruins? The people terrified, hiding in their homes. Am I trying to reassure myself, imagining the worst? What if I found the city in better shape than I left it? Is Delilah doing a better job than I did? Like, that's something I was thinking about. It's like, will the city be in ruins? And it's like, what if it's actually not, you know? No, I don't think it will be the case. I know De Delilah, and I know myself better now. I feel guilty for all the things I could have done better before this all started. For being an empress, not many people thought worth fighting for. I don't know what I'll see, but whatever has happened to my city, I mustn't let grief or anger cloud my thoughts, because the destruction of Dunwall won't be weighing heavily on Delilah's mind. She must know I'll be coming for her. She's watched from afar as one after another of her allies have been removed from my path. 
Does she feel vulnerable? Or was this her plan all along? Because we kind of spoke to her during the Brianna Ashworth thing. She knows that things are happening around her. We have her spirit. Also, when we were in the time travel state, she was like, I know you and when you are, and you've watched me come back and all of that kind of stuff. So it's very interesting. We will just have to uh, wait and see how this plays out. Uh, but thank you so very much for joining me for this episode of Dishonored 2. We now come to the end of this episode as we look to be moving into potentially the final level, the final movement here. Save Corvo, oust Delilah, take back our throne, be a better leader than we were before. I'm very much looking forward to it at a great time this episode. I hope you enjoyed watching this one and I will see you next time. <laughs>